The Turkish-based Islamic group, Adamda Group, in conjunction with the Turkish government, donated over 500 cows to Muslims in Nigeria during the just-concluded Eid al-Adha festival. Adamda Group, which represented several Islamic organizations in Turkey, partnered with Zemar Islamic Research and Development Education Center that is based in Abuja to carry out this benevolent act in Nigeria. The cow meats were distributed in several locations including remote areas of Abuja like Kuali, Abaji, Mpape, Jikwoi, amongst others. We went to the Pape site also, Pape, Jikoko, Burganshramo, uh, more than 10 villages around the site. And also we went to the Maraba site. In Maraba site also, uh, we distribute more than 20 different Islamic schools, some mosques, Jumaat mosques as well. Uh, we, we probably have lost count because uh, we thought 500 was good enough and for each cow it is to serve 25 family members. So In a bid to further strengthen this benevolent act, wealthy Nigerians were also urged to engage in charity that we aid distribution to the needy, not just in Abuja but in other states of Nigeria. We are only hoping that our own Nigerians that are well to do, that have the wherewithal, will follow suit. Because if they don't have the discipline back from where they are coming, they won't have extended it here. I would have loved for Nigerians to also take, to start this charity from home and also extend such charity to other countries. I'm expecting them to emulate from what these people have done to Nigerians. Recipients of this cow meat revealed their happiness towards this charity and further prayed for the donors. Very, very happy and I appreciate the, the way and also the manner this thing was conducted. In fact, this kind of a gesture, uh, not everywhere you can find this kind of a thing. And uh, I can only pray for them. May Almighty Allah bless them more and more and let them be guiding and helping others, the needy ones and others. The distribution process of the cow meat was done on Saturday and Sunday respectively. Lukman Akintala for iMedia.